Hey, what's going on everybody? Your boy DJ City Manos. And I had to stop last night. I said my brain hurts. I'm trying to figure out a way how to make my scratch bank instrumental. Make one a cappella and make one with loops in it. And you're like, why are you doing that? It's too much work. And that's what Ernie said. <laughs> Give a shout out to Ernie because that's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. But once you get, in, get it to work, it'll be perfect. Because what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to actually stop all that work. Um, and if you use your recorder, and what I mean by recorder, if you use this, your software, to, to make your own stems, make your own acapellas, make your own instrumentals, and you record them, make your own samples, basically. Um, that's a lot of work. And what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to cut that work, all that work. What I want to do, I want to grab a song, a regular song, and just drag it into my my bank, and it'll make it into instrumental, automatic. And I want to get another song and drop it in and make it instrumental, you know? And I did that. I finally got it to uh, work. <laughs> but now I'm still having a problem. Um, so when you drag a song over and put it in the bank, because you have you can put up to eight songs, what's going to happen is um, I haven't figured out how to make it, the vocals completely off. Because the way I did it, I made the command where you push the button and it turns off the vocals. But what happened if you push it again? It turns it back on. So you're only allowed to push it once. So I cannot stutter it. You know, if I want to stutter the part, I cannot do it. Um, I could if I go to my cues. If I go to my cues, then I could stutter it. But uh, I don't want to go back and forth. I just want to put the song and go like I did last night with the regular one. Um, I was messing around with the regular one, and it worked beautiful. You could stutter it. Um, I was having a problem when I put the sync. Uh, it was in. It was trying to, you know, sync it when you're pushing it fast. So it's kind of going off. You know, I was, it, was, it, it felt like a quantize. So weird. So I didn't like it. Um, that's the thing with the quantize. If you have quantize on, and you try to stutter a song, it try to match it on the beat of the of the grid, and I don't like the quantize. But uh, so I figure a way how to fix that. Now, now I'm having a problem with this one now. So I'm going to demonstrate that this is going to be original old song, uh, original song. So we have this song. Let's hit play. All these right here are original. You know, I'm going to fast forward. See, these are all original ones. Now. Let's select my uh, my my scratch bank. I have my scratch bank right here. Let's do instrumental first, and I'm gonna drop in um, two songs in there. Let's play La Cobra. Let's drop it in uh, the first one. I want to make sure because I can't see with the phone. And let's grab uh, this one, Enfermera. Drop it on the second one. And let's grab another one, Superman. And let's drop it in the third one. So I got it in these three right here. Right here, all right. When I hit play, it should be automatic a cappella. I mean, uh, instrumental because I have uh, the instrumental scratch bank selected. See, instrumental that's when I created. So now, when I hit the button, it should be, it should be, it should be instrumental automatic. But if I push it again, it removes the instrumental. So, I cannot use my stutter. See? And you're like, what's the point of that, Seti Mano? What's the point? I don't see no point. The point is I took the words off. With, you know, I could have all these songs ready in my bank, and I could just play them back and forth. I could put cues. And here goes the next song. The next song. And I don't have to do anything. I could just shuffle them through the, so the song, and every single song is going to be instrumental. You know? See? It's instrumental. Next song. I'm gonna let it play for a little bit so you can see that it's instrumental. Turn it up. See, no singing. Look at that, no singing. Next song. No singing. It made it automatic instrumental. And I could have a bank full of songs ready to go. You know, I could have a samples of songs ready to go. I can put my cues in there.
see? Now, let's go to the next bank. Let's go to the acapella one. So I made the acapella bank. So that was instrumental, here goes acapella. See, I'm gonna put um, different songs. Again, like I said, these are original songs. You could, I'm gonna play them, you could hear that they have vocals. Carola. So we have, I'm gonna put Carola, let's put um, Quebeo, let's put Quebeo in there. Some people know that. It was Quebeo. All right, so let's throw Quebeo up in there and let's replace the other one. I can't see. So let's put that one in there. Where's Carola at? Carola. And what else? Uh, let's slap on La Huera Salome. So now I got these three songs. One here, one there, one there. Now, here's a crazy thing about it. Um, it just didn't know how to reset itself. So that's why I got to figure it out. Here goes the problem that I'm having. It doesn't know how to reset itself. So if I hit this one, uh, the vocal was off. Let's see if vocal's still off. Oh, vocal's back on. So we're good. We're good. It reset itself. So now if we go back to this acapella and I hit play. And I hit play. It should um, be acapella. This song's going to be acapella. See, there's no music. It's all acapella. So if I set up a cue, uh, 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 a cue. <laughs> the next song. Next song, see? It's loading. Next song. So you can, I'm just going fast forward so you can see that it. So that's three songs right there already a cappella. That's three songs that is already a cappella. So you just got to set your cue marks and go straight to the cue mark. Once you load them, go to your cue mark. But like I said, I cannot, I cannot stutter them to make it, you know, make it work. Because this button right here you, uh, works as a, a off and on. So right now it's off. When I hit it again, turn on the music. See? And make it a cappella, instrumental. A cappella, instrumental. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's, that's the only problem is that I got to figure out how to just completely shut it off. Um, I'm using it as a button. It doesn't, it does, it's doing two functions. Turn on the stems and turn it off. I want it completely a cappella. So once I figure that out, it's going to be golden. <laughs> it's going to be golden. So, yeah, I got it to work. I got it to work. Now I got to make another one with loops in there. Um, and that, what I'm going to use that, that for, if I get a whole song, I don't want to play the whole song. I just want to put a loop in there. So once I make a loop in there, man, like I said, I'm golden. Um, you know what? I could be a cheater, though. I could be a cheater. But anyways, yeah, this is your boy, DJ City Manos. Um, I got it to work. Um, is, it, is it perfect? No, it's not. I still got some work to do. And once I figure things out, I could start getting songs that... Um, Let's say I'm, I'm doing a word mixing, like word mixing. Um, I'm mixing on certain words. Um, I could put songs in there that has certain words. Like let's say um, that song Baby or something. Anything that has baby. Then I could put another song that says baby in it. Um, like I could probably get all the songs that have the word baby in it. And have them all in here at cappella. And I just have a beat playing. And I could just play the, the chorus, the baby part. Loop it, go to the next one, baby, baby, the next one, baby, the next one, baby, the next one, baby. So you could do, you could do so much things, you know? And here was another thing I had trouble with. When I'm using the scratch bank, I was trying to make a different uh, bank where the music go to. I can't, I can't, I can't figure that out either. So this one right here is going to go to the bank, to the old, the original bank. See? It goes, this is the original one. I can't figure out how to separate this. 
And uh, I was trying, but my songs weren't, weren't getting saved to the to that bank. It was going back to this original one. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna leave it. So I just make folders. I might make one a folder that says a cappella, another folder that says instrumental, or who knows, you know. So yeah, I'm again, I'm getting, I'm getting this close. I'm getting this close. It's working, but it's not working perfectly. You know, like I said, uh, once I figure out how to shut it completely off instead of using it as an on and off stems button, you know. I gotta figure it out. I know there's one that's that has mute in it, like mute vocals, and that you won't have. To, I don't. Know, I gotta figure it out because I don't want to use a button and it turns off the mute and turn it on. I don't want to do that. I want to just completely. So I'm gonna have to just write a script to tell to tell it this button only mutes it. But who knows? I gotta figure something out. I gotta figure it out. I'm out. Peace.